One of my favorite quotes comes from the late Senator Edward M. Kennedy. Our sins don't define the whole picture of who we are. I love this quote, spoken by a man who certainly had experienced what it means to suffer and fail publicly. I love it not only because of the way it speaks of grace, but because of the acknowledgement within it that we are not just one thing. We are not one-dimensional creatures. We are not defined by a single moment, idea, or choice. To rephrase Senator Kennedy, no one thing fully defines who we are. It is tempting, and many of us fall into this temptation, to assume that we know all of a person if we know a single thing about a person. There's some kind of myopic cultural conversation that purports if you are one thing, no matter what that thing is, then that is all you are. We allow ourselves to make a whole lot of assumptions about who people are and what they believe based on the one thing we think we know about them. But we are not one-dimensional, and we are not fully defined by who we vote for or what we do or what we say even on social media. We are always more than that. We are a weaving of experiences and family and relationship, of faith and hope and frustration and dreams. There is so much more to every single one of us than just one thing. There is also only one identity expansive enough to hold all of who we are, both as individuals and a community. And it is our identity in Christ, that we are baptized followers of Jesus Christ. This, our true identity, is the one that also defines us. It's tempting to lump people together, to categorize them based on other things that we think we know about who they are. It's tempting to make assumptions about people based on the little bit we might know about them or what they say on social media or other platforms. And when that temptation comes, I'm encouraging us to choose instead to see with lighted eyes, to step back and remember that not only is our identity in our baptism, but so is the identity of those around us. Our sins do not define the whole picture of who we are, but God's grace does. My prayer is that we might learn to allow God's grace to define us and that we would see it define everyone else around us too. May grace and peace and courage be with you, dear church in the days and weeks ahead.